it's Paige and today I'm back with another makeup video and today I'm going to be showing you red and gold lips. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. First of all, make sure your lips are clean, which mine have a bit of lipstick on. Um, it's a bit around my mouth as well, but that's okay. I already gently exfoliated my lips before this video, um, but make sure you do that. Um, it's not a necessity, but... I would recommend just using olive oil and sugar, or you can get one of these sugar scrubs from Ardeen's or some store like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is use concealer on your lips. A bit weird, but this is a step that really makes a difference. Just like all around your mouth, on your mouth. Pretty weird, but it'll make all the difference. To kind of take away any color that there is to your lips and make them look as dull as possible. Because um, in the beginning, you want your lips to like, so to make the color pop in the end. I'm using BB cream and concealer because that concealer does not give much coverage and there's not much left. So now that my lips have been dulled down and if you're doing your foundation before this which you, most people do um you just go over your lips with the foundation um if you have a foundation like that gives more coverage i recommend going over that with that on your lips i cannot talk today for some reason and the first product that you will need for your lips is red lipstick now just mark where you want it to end see how it want to end right here this side here and then see the points of my cupid's bow here just before that i want it to end there and there so i'm just going to apply it to this side of the lines Now that looks super duper messy, but we are about to fix that with a makeup wipe. The best invention I've ever heard of. Anyway, oh, my phone's running out of battery. Um, so I'm just going to clean up the edges of this to make it look a lot more clean. So there's the red lipstick, um, it's as clean as I can get it. Um, I'm taking my gold lipstick, wiping it off because it does have red lipstick from when I tried this previously before the video. So I'm just applying this to the middle where I have any, where I have no lipstick on. So far that looks pretty good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take glittery eyeliner. Yes, you heard me right. It's more metallic than glittery, um, I would say. So yeah, I am just applying this right to the center here. I'm making it look like very, applying quite a bit so it's super shimmery. And I would not wear this every day. Maybe for like, I would probably never wear this because I am a child and it is pretty bold, but yeah. <laughs> but if you are older and you're allowed to wear this, um, you can wear this for like a party, a Christmas celebration, a performance, or just every day, whatever you guys want. Um, and then I'm just pouting the, those two colors together. And that is almost, it's almost done. Don't worry. I just need a little bit, in another optional step to really enhance the lipstick and make it stand out more than it already does. Taking some white highlighter right here in this palette, 
I need to get some better highlighter. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And just putting this on my Cupid's bow to really draw attention even more to that area. Then I'm also putting a bit below it right here, my chin. So that is this tutorial, but there's one more optional step. There's a lot of optional steps to this, because you can make it pretty simple um, and more natural. Natural. Um, where's my eyebrow brush? Anyway, I will use this eyeshadow brush. I will take some concealer on it. Oh, never mind. Um, where's my eyebrow brush? I can't find it. Ugh. I'm going to use, let's get some excess product off of here, this concealer brush and just clean up my lips to make them look super clean and just professional, per se. Um, I'm not a professional makeup artist at all, by any means, but to make it look more clean. Just act like you're um, overlining your lips with lip liner. But very dramatically. I'm going to focus this a lot on the corners, because that can make you look kind of like a clown. I'm going to go straight in with the applicator. If it's like stretched out too much on the corners. Because you can make this look more like nat or not natural, but like less clean. You don't have to do this step, but I would like to show you it if you like that look. And then I'm just going to kind of blend that out using this. Um, yes, make sure to blend it out or else it probably won't be the best look. I mean, if you like that look. You go do that, but it's not the look that I would personally go for. Yes, and now I'm just going to blend the corners out with this beauty blender. And that is pretty much it for these lips. You can add some final touches like more highlight, and I'm going to add some more gold to the center right here so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um please comment down below which video you want me to do next i have some ideas up my sleeve but i want to know what you guys want because yes i want ideas from you guys because there's no point in really making videos if i'm not making the videos that you guys want to see so yeah, comment down below uh, what videos you want to see next in my Christmas series. So see you guys next time. Bye!